Today is International Men's Day and we're launching a campaign to abolish circumcision, to stop the chop. Female genital mutilation was quite rightly abolished some time ago and I'm curious to know why male genital mutilation has not also been abolished. There are those who would argue that it is already illegal, that it's actually against the law, but the government is not upholding or enforcing this law and we hope to change that. Personally, I've been researching into male suicide and looking at the absolute travesty of how little is done for it. Uh, 12 men a day are committing suicide in the UK, which is just absolutely horrendous, and 50% of those men who do kill themselves didn't seek help beforehand. And why do we live in a society where this happens? Don't quote me on this statistic, but I believe around 8.4% of boys born this year will be circumcised, which is you know, horrendous. You, you wouldn't do the same for women. You know, obviously, rightly so, you know, it, it's a disgusting thing to do, to, you know, cut a baby's genitals. But for some bizarre reason, doing it to little boys is totally acceptable. All the arguments against FGM, you know, you can't do it because, oh, your religion says so. You're not allowed to do it for beauty. You're not allowed to do it for, you know, uh, hygiene reasons. You know, obviously, all these things are argued out the window for girls. But yet, for some bizarre reason, when it comes to circumcising boys, these are the very reasons they use to defend it. I was aware of circumcision, but not aware of the issues around circumcision and the harm and the detriment that it does to boys and later to men in later life. And not only to men, but also those that are associated with men. Uh, their mothers, their fathers, family, siblings. This is a, a travesty of uh, human rights that is largely suppressed and unseen. To uh, mutilate a young baby uh, without consent in his early days for some spurious reasons is an offence to society. If I want to have myself cut, then that's a choice that I can make as an adult but it's not something that a choice that should be made for me by somebody else without my consent or without my knowledge and being able to determine myself my own course of action. My name's uh, Ewan Jones, I'm a men's rights activist and I'm uh, here today to campaign against uh, male mm. genital mutilation. Um, I yeah, I've got into a men's rights movement a few years ago and um, I, you know, I think the statistics are pretty dark and pretty shocking. 80% um, of suicides are men, 96% uh, of uh, prisoners are men, 96% of uh, workplace deaths in the UK are men, 90% uh, of the homeless are men, 40% um, of domestic abuse victims are men, um, and, you know, if you look at the family court system as well, it, it's, it's a system that denigrates men. I uh, personally have been greatly affected by um, an issue that um, was um, off my radar for many years and uh, I didn't actually uh, appreciate how it had been profoundly affecting me until a few years ago and, um, and now I feel um, very strongly that uh, I want to um, do do as much as I can to uh, to, to uh, raise awareness of this um, and it's this uh, male genital mutilation circumcision whatever you will call it uh, the euphemism and um, it's, it's great to see that um, there are so many other people here that are like-minded and, um, and and feel strongly about this and they're prepared to come and stand out here in a, in a, a really mucky cold November day and um, just um, show, uh, show the world that uh, we, we're not going to put up with this anymore and uh, we need to put a stop to this. I've come here today to register my disapproval of the assault that takes place against boys and very young men, uh, particularly those who are unable to uh, protect themselves, to protest or to give consent, which they cannot do because they're too young. And I think perhaps one of the worst things about it as well is that there is money involved in this process. And wherever you get money involved, you get corruption. And that is just not on uh, assaulting people for money. It, it needs to stop. I'm very pleased to be here today as I've not been mobile enough 
to attend the meetings that Men Do Complain have held across the country to inform and protest against the imposition of this gross assault on baby boys' bodies. We want all babies of either sex or gender to be left as they are, whole and perfect, and not being forced to succumb to this madness. Well, here we are in Parliament Square. The, the, the weather's t turning for the worse, I think. But, we, but we've had a very successful few hours, uh, handing out hundreds and hundreds of leaflets, uh, engaging in lots of conversations with people, including Jews and uh, Muslims. Uh, that's gone, all gone very well. And I don't think we, we, we could have hoped uh, for more success. And I'm, I just hope when we have the International Conference on Men's Issues next July, that the weather's a little bit better than this.